Hi, this is Dustin at Great Vacs. Over the years, we've uh, sold and serviced thousands of rainbow vacuum cleaners, and our customers often ask how they use the tools for the rainbow vacuum cleaner. So that's what we're going to talk about today. The first thing is to determine which hose you should be using. Unless it specifically says so on the hose, almost every electrical hose from Rainbow you never vacuum up water with, okay? Because there's a, a risk of electrical shock. However, if you're just needing to clean up some dust or whatever, say you have your electrical hose hooked up to your machine, you could simply grab a crevice tool, for example, and use it to vacuum up what you want, all right? Anytime you're dealing with wet spills, or uh, usually when you use the floor tool, you're going to want to hook up the non-electrical um, hose, and it's also called the dry hose. Or the, um, anytime that you're vacuuming up water or using the floor tool, you're going to want to have the non-electrical hose on. And that also works really good for uh, the other attachments as well. So what you, how you use those is you first you connect your non-electrical hose to your rainbow, and then you simply, um, on the D3, D4, and SC models, you simply put the tool on, twist to the right so it doesn't come off, and it's on nice and snug. Um, on the newer E models, they have a button lock where it just snaps right in. Um, so that was the crevice tool. Okay? Same thing goes for the upholstery attachment. That goes just friction fit, twist to the right, it's on firm. The upholstery tool also has a slider um, that you could take off for additional cleaning. Um, the other onboard tools is the, uh, the dusting brush. Nice thing about the rainbow dusting brush is it's horsehair which attracts dust to it, which is, which is a good feature in a dusting brush. Now, we're ready for the floor tool. So to use the floor tool, we're gonna, and this is for Rainbow Genuine Attachments. We're going to put on the short straight wand. Then we're going to put on the curved wand with two bumps on the bottom of the curved wand. And then we're going to put on the floor tool. And it swivels. And that is how you use the floor tool uh, on a Rainbow vacuum that's, that's with Genuine Tools. Now. Sometimes rainbows are sold with brand new aftermarket tools. So let's cover that real quick as well. Now sometimes rainbow vacuum cleaners are sold with brand new aftermarket tools. These tools are designed specifically for vacuums, but not necessarily specifically for rainbows. There's nothing wrong with them, they work great. Um, if you have a rainbow like that, I'm going to show you real quick how to use those. So whether you're using a non-electrical hose or an electric hose like this one, um, those tools would simply, same thing, most of them are friction fit, go on your uh, hose like so. And that's very simple. That's the duster brush, the upholstery tool, all of them are going to go right on just like, just like the rainbow tools do. Okay? Um, now as far as using the floor tool, one thing that's usually different is most aftermarket attachments, like this floor tool here, has a built-in swivel on it, unlike the unlike the genuine uh, rainbow floor tool that doesn't have the swivel. So as a result, the wands are a little bit different. And usually what they are is there's two short straight wands. Okay, So I'm just using these as an example. So there's our two short straight wands and then we simply attach the floor tool like so. And that is how you would use the floor tool if you have aftermarket tools with your rainbow vacuum. Here at Great Vacs, we service and sell nearly every model of Rainbow Vacuum Cleaner. Um, if you have any other questions, feel free to email us at service at greatvacs.com or check out our um, Vacuum Education Center on, at greatvacs.com for more information. Thank you.